मानवाधिकार दिवस पर मानवाधिकारों का उल्लंघन हुआ कल की घटना के लिए ममता बनर्जी को माफी मांगनी चाहिए कल का हमला लोकतंत्र पर धब्बा है और लोकतंत्र में सबको अपनी बात रखने का हक है पश्चिम बंगाल के राज्यपाल अपनी बात रखते हुए सीधे एक बार फिर से चलते हैं इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में जिनकी व्यवस्था मैं करूंगा आपको उनके बारे में आप अपडेट लाइए और चूंकि कल का दिन भी एक भयावह स्थिति पैदा करता है मैंने कहा उसकी रिपोर्ट भी आप लाइए देखें विदाउट एनी रिपोर्ट देख के विदाउट एनी इनपुट आई वॉज शॉक I was shamed. They are the senior most bureaucrats. They must have some sense of duty. And matters for which they have to give me updates are pending for more than 12 months. a very painful day in governance they could not help me at all in such a situation to discharge my constitutional obligations i was constrained to conclude that the present scenario in the state of west bengal is that any political activity by opposition party is ruthlessly repressed and quelled with police assistance that is always in the state most unfortunately and alarmingly in political mode in support of the ruling party such oppression of the opposition from engaging in political activity climaxed yesterday when political activity of the president of a national party was so intimidated interrupted are we in a situation that born homi with the ruling party born homi with the ruling dispensation alone guarantees your rights you can have no rights no human rights no democratic rights unless you are on the right side of the ruling party unless you bond me with them is that not a warning signal for death of democracy does it not signal death knell of democracy democratic values the enormity went to a level when in challenging tone diamond harbor mp the honorable chief minister sogat rai ji take to that kind of discourse finding the situation alarming as my constitutional duty i have sent a report about the extremely disturbing developments that do not augur well for democratic values that are antith- antithetical to rule of law 
that sound death knell of constitutional parameters, I have sent a report to the central government. I do not wish to share the contents of my report. as part of propriety, but I would want media role, and media has a significant role to play in survival of democracy. If protested, protesters cannot peacefully engage into their political activity, and the state actors are in support of those who engage in disruption, then we will not have democracy. I cannot be party to this. I do not want people of the state of West Bengal, and I can assure them they must not lose hope. Your governor will vindicate his oath. Whatever it may take, come what may, such situations will not be allowed to last. And I wish to send a message. I have sent several times. It has impacted money. I want to send a message to some bureaucrats who are integrated as the stakeholders in the political field. They are frontline workers. They are getting paid out of public sector. They are using everything under the sun to act not as public servants, but as political workers. Take my signal in the spirit of law. This will not be allowed anymore. I have details of 21 such people. I do not wish to reveal the details. I don't want to be judgmental. I have written to the Honorable Chief Minister, as and when she will spare time, I will share with her the sensitive details. Some details I have already shared with the senior functionaries of the state government. Our democracy is too precious to be damaged by these people handful of them thinking they are low unto themselves and un accountable to none. Their accountability will be enforced. It is a matter of time they will know that music of law in the ears sometimes is very disturbing because it is pleasant only to the common man not to those who engage in violations. How can a governor countenance a situation where for over a year I am not told what are the duties, obligations of Sarjit Karpur Kaista? He is a state security advisor since mid of 2018. And Madam Rina Mitra, February 2019, she carries a designation principal advisor internal security. I don't know what her duties are. And friends, the government is being run by people like Mr. Purkashta and more than half a dozen such people who are in important pivotal assignments 
after retirement. I am not against any post retirement benefit. Yes, I wish to tell them, you all are public servants. You are being paid out of public exchequer. You are liable in law for your acts of omission and commission. And many of such omissions and commissions await my consideration. Not only with respect to Mr. Gyanwant, High Court held him what? I have written to the Honorable Chief Minister that the High Court categorically held with respect to him and these are not ordinary observations. The observations of the High Court what to an extent that a finding was recorded he has violated human rights. A finding was recorded his acts were ultra vires constitution. And that finding of the High Court was approved by the Honorable Supreme Court. A charge sheet was issued. An inquiry took place.